What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be installing a new radio into our Mustang and we're going to be saying goodbye to this one. Let's go. So here in this box we have something awesome for our Mustang. Let's unbox it and let's see what it is. Here is the Holy Grail of Holy Grails. Tell me that doesn't look beautiful. This is going to go into our 2011 Mustang. It's going to be an awesome little touchscreen for us to be up to date in the future. Now, I was going to choose a different one. There was a Tesla style screen that actually covers from here to here. But I figured I didn't need all of that like crazy stuff. So I decided to get the regular one. The screen is big enough to do what I needed to do. I'm not living in my car, so I don't need all that fancy gadgets. Um, and I like my buttons and stuff to touch my air conditioning. Uh, so can't wait to get this installed. Let's do it. Obviously, when dealing with anything electronic, you want to disconnect your battery. So let's disconnect that now. Alrighty, so we're in the car. Here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna remove these little trim pieces. This, obviously pop this out the way. There's a connector back here to disconnect these. And then we're gonna work on removing this old rusty radio. Guys, I cannot wait till this thing is out. It's been driving me insane driving this. Just boring as hell, so. So we're gonna use these trim remover tools. Guys, this is gonna be in a link in the description below. So definitely pick yours up from Amazon. Oh, See, this stuff helps us not scratch our material. Everything pops out really clean, really nice. You know, let's get this opened out of here. Uh, let's throw all this in the seat so we don't lose our stuff. Close this and start popping from back here to lift up and really pry. Need to move this shifter back. Alrighty, so now that we got all of this removed out of our way, we look like we have two bolts there, and it should be like a seven or eight millimeter. Um, hopefully, uh, that's all, and this should just pop right out, and it should be an easy install. So let's get to it. So we're going to remove these two bolts and get them out there. Whoops. Now that those two bolts are removed, it's the moment of truth. So we're going to pry around and hopefully this should just pull right out. I may have to move the shifter back, but we'll see what happens. Just remove that one little plug, that's all. Came right off. Okay, so from the looks of everything, first off, there was definitely rats in here because that looks like rat dookie. So I'm gonna have to clean that out. But uh, what we can do is remove this CD player, don't need this anymore, and remove this tacky old clock, we don't need that anymore. And then the new one should fit right in. The greatest thing about the new one is, from the looks of it, it looks like it's just plug and play. Like, I didn't need to buy an extra adapter to plug into my radio to that radio. It just looks like it came with everything there to plug and play. So that will be so cool. Can't wait to set that up. Well, that wasn't hard. 
But holy crap, look at that. Rat poop. Something was living up in here. Hopefully it's not still living in here anymore. I doubt that. Ooh, there's some treasure back there. Hopefully there's money in those envelopes. Let's see what's back there. What is that? Okay, so we got a letter from a Daniel from the owner. Cool. Uh, what is that back there? It appears to be his sock. Interesting. Okay. Something was definitely living up in here. I'm gonna take my time and clean all this, guys, and then we'll uh we'll we'll start to mount up the new radio. This is weird. Alrighty, so now we're ready to put in our new radio. But before we do that, I want to make things a little bit easier on myself, such as looking for the main harness that's gonna go from the actual car into this radio, which I think is in this bag. So what I actually want to do is plug and play this into the car first, then bring the radio in and attach all that from the back. Now we also have these other cables if you want to hook up a backup camera and stuff like that. Now I'm a 90s baby. I don't really need backup cameras because we have something called a mirror and side mirrors. So I'm good with using that. But a lot of people today need these backup cameras. Plus, it's also a cool feature to have. But I didn't get one with it because I really don't need it. But it's there in case I want it for the future. So we're going to put this on and leave it inside. Here we also have the GPS. Now, again, I was a 90s baby. We got map quests and stuff like that. I don't I do not do that anymore. I, I'm going to use GPS. So I'm going to want this in the car. This is going to go in. Um, so I think this is the main wire harness. Now, this is the coolest thing that I've ever seen. I've never seen this in any other radio that I've ever installed. Personally, maybe you have. I haven't. This is the first radio that I have ever installed that potentially plug and plays directly into my car into the radio every other one always had came with half cut wires that i had to either solder together or um crimp together and it, it was just a hassle so this is really cool that they're starting to hopefully starting to make all of them like this where it's just plug and play um because i really don't like wiring much but you gotta do what you gotta do so let's get this into the car let's plug this in and let's make sure it works Alrighty, so one thing I noticed is we're going to have to remove these clips and transfer them over onto this one. So I'm preparing everything. That way when I get into the car, I don't have to keep running back and forth, in and out, in and out. I can just plug and play and get everything started. So let's get that from here onto here. And with the magic of editing, it's going to be swapped now. So here we got this like antenna adapter thingy. So this is going to actually plug in to this right here. Then we have the other wires that are just going to plug and play. So let me get to this and then I'm going to show you guys what everything looks like. it started let's see how it sounds i don't know if i have air conditioning but we'll see what happens i think i got ac it started that's a good sign do i got ac though i got ac <laughs> all right let's get all this stuff cleaned up put away and then i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after i'm also gonna route my gps and stuff you all don't need to see all that stuff i'm just gonna take my time and route it somewhere and uh let's see what happens guys this looks so sick like it, it really does everything works the audio works i'm gonna prove it to y'all let's see um okay we have no media file here that's fine let's find the regular radio it's super cool it got internet which i when am i ever gonna really use that play store it's like a little android tablet here um i even got youtube here you know it's super cool actually we could watch one of my videos um it should be connected here let's see 
If it connects, which it is doing. Connect, connect, connect. Why is that a problem? You should be connected. All right, we'll figure that out then later. Uh, let's hear the music in her radio, I guess. We'll go to radio. That comes to just 80 Woohoo! That's loud. That's loud, boy. But it works. It works. That's what's up. That's what's cool. I'm super excited and super stoked for this. Power button's down here. Shut it off. That's what's up. Now we're going to put the rest of this together and we're going to have some fun with it. Whoosh, whoosh. With a snap of my fingers, all of this should be on. Woohoo! Everything is on. Looks super stoked, super clean. Cannot wait to drive this car again. Super happy. Can't wait. Can't wait. We got so much things coming up for you. Guys, this looks beautiful. Now, I'm very OCD about my stuff, and I really don't want to pull this plastic off, but I think I have to. I think I'm going to have to to make it look... Because it's just not cleaned, so I'm going to just... We're just going to do it. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. look how beautiful that is. All right, let's put it back on. We'll put it back on either. Let's just do that. Alrighty, I hope you all enjoyed this super cool episode of me installing this radio into this Mustang. You have no idea how much better these rides are going to be now that I can finally listen to my music as well as pair my phone so I can listen to the music that I want to listen to. This is awesome. This is great. I'm super happy and stoked for this. If you guys are interested, you can pick one of these up on Amazon. It's in a link in the description below. So definitely check it out. Pick yours up. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely recommending this to y'all. Alrighty, guys. So with all that being said and done, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell notification by its side. Make sure you leave your comments in the comment section below. And also give the video a like for the algorithm. I'll see y'all for the next one. Peace.